Hey, you want to get high, man? Let's still let your mind. Get up, Chucky! What have we got here? Fucking comedian. <laughs> Rojan Kim. California dreaming. Hello. Welcome to the Rojan Kim cast. It's me, Rojan Kim. Thanks so much for joining me this week. And what a crazy... Hi, guys. What the big, big news. What's the big news right now? Alabama basically outlawing abortion. Abortion that was guaranteed as a constitutional right under Roe versus Wade back in... Uh, 73 before my time i mean that's for sure i mean i guess uh that means i could have been aborted if anything guys i was definitely a candidate for abortion uh trust me i found out from the source you know what i'm saying (laughs) my mom didn't want me and uh i guess i could say hey i am lucky that I was not aborted, huh? That could, I mean, that could be my argument. If I was a pro-lifer, I could be like, if my mom had aborted me, then I wouldn't be here, would I? So I can't be for abortion. But you know what? I feel like in whatever reality that is, maybe that version of me does deserve to have been aborted. You know what I mean? Like, he sounds kind of douchey. Like, what am I... Uh, I'm trying to control women's reproductive rights. And a lot of people are like, it's not about reproductive rights. Women can reproduce. They can reproduce. That's, uh, you know, we're not restricting that. It's just, it's a life. It's a life, and a life is sacred, and we shouldn't take a human life, and there's no reason we should be taking human lives, and that's the, it's the moral argument, right? It's a moral argument, guys. It's a moral argument. Is Rojan jumping into abortion? It's like, it's like a minute, two minutes in, and he's just talking about abortion. We're just going to jump right in, guys. Well, <sighs> yeah, I mean, it's on my mind. I Listen, I get I get it. I don't, I'm not a, uh, I'm not like a team player. You know what I mean? Like, it's hard, when I, and especially when I see factions, pro-life, pro-choice, pro-life, pro-choice, Democrat, Republican, you know, boys, girls, bad, 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 you know, um, I just check out. I don't know. I just, you know, I think everything is uh, conflict-driven, you know? Everything is conflict-driven, and it's all marketing, and just feels like a big old smokescreen, you know? Like a big old okey-doke, like a con job. That's just what it feels like. Not to say that this is uh, this is an, an important issue, but this whole pro-life, pro-choice, the debate, right, is about it's a woman's right to choose. No, it's a baby's right to life, right? This is blah 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 Ba, 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 ba. And here's the thing. I think a lot of the people on the pro-choice side are saying, no, it's not life. It's not life. And then the, 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 the whole debate is framed around, is it life? And you know what? Let's, I, for me personally, I say, yeah, it's a life. And yes, we're killing it. Okay. We're murdering it. If you want to call it murder. All right. Those are your words. All right. We're just terminating Right? We can use some more neutral words if you want. If you want to say we're going to murder the baby, then let's call it that. Let's murder the baby, but that's what we're doing, okay? And I think we would be remiss to um, you know, leave out the fact that we kill babies worldwide. I mean, America? America is top-notch at killing babies. America is the number one baby killer on the planet. We kill babies we kill babies overseas. We kill babies domestically. We are a baby killing machine. We're constantly killing babies. And you're like, that's that seems hyperbolic. How so? How are we killing babies overseas? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the unending war we've been committing. <laughs> the fucking you don't think that kills babies? War? War kills babies when things explode. Fucking sh- missiles blow up cities. You don't think babies die there? Yeah. And that's war. That's something we've been doing for, oh, what, 18 years now? 18 years? That's long enough for a baby, for all those babies that we killed, to be adults now. That's that's what we did. And every year we we're killing them. Okay, And that's just, those are like the hot wars. These are the wars that we know of, right? We also have secret wars. We've got drone strikes. You know, we've got clandestine activities. Clandestine. You don't think they... Uh, go after a target and maybe sometimes the target is a pregnant woman 
Huh? You don't think sometimes kids are nearby when something happens? I'm just saying. I don't actually know any details, but I'm just saying, imagine all the clandestine activities. You think they're really thinking about, oh, life is sacred. Life is sacred. <laughs> you think they're really going by that? I'm talking about our government, you know, and most governments, and really most people. Think about you're listening to this on a device. You know who made it? Little kids. Little kids. And you're like, well, at least they're alive, whatever. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, you really care about these people. You don't really care, okay? You don't care. Okay, not to say that you're a callous, bad person, okay, because I'm right there with you. And it isn't that I don't care, like I'm an inhuman person, I don't care about the suffering of people. Of course, we care about the suffering of others. It's just that it's impossible to register all the suffering of the entire world all at once without just dying yourself or I guess you could also become Jesus or something. I don't know. Something would have if you could just unload like uh or take on i guess instead of unload you're actually loading up on all the suffering of the world you know imagine what a burden that is and that is what our myths are about right the hero figure the person who takes on the gods you know the person who takes on society the person who gets killed you know socrates jesus buddha you know fucking every all of those motherfuckers the the people in the past, the people who have made sacrifices, right? That's these are these are the ideals they that we hold up. Okay. Anyway, life is sacred, right? Babies killed overseas. Economic sanctions. You know, sanctions is just a friendly word for starvation. You know, and babies die of malnourishment from that. This is a bummer, Rojan. Why are you reminding us of all the babies we're killing overseas? Well, because I'm trying to make a point about the the argument about, you know, the argument, the pro-life argument, the life argument, okay? We clearly don't care about life. We just seem to care about it in this particular instance. We don't care about it in other instances. Domestically, how many kids are in the system? How many kids are fucking in the welfare system or the child services system? How many kids are abandoned? You know, how many kids are being are up for adoption in orphanages, wards of the state, who end up becoming, you know, 18 year, years old and without any parents? You know, how many fucking kids go through that, right? What about the kids in Flint? Dying from being poisoned, you know. <laughs> what about it? I'm just saying, life, we really care about life, yet here we are destroying it left and right, right? Our main priorities uh, are death. It's really death. We pay more money to kill people than we spend on trying to give them health care, you know. So, I don't know. just seems strange that that's our, that's where we're drawing the line, inside the, the lady's body, huh? Let the women have it. I don't know. I just I just feel like, look, the Supreme Court fucking said, right, it's constitutional, okay? It fucks with the woman's due process. The whole argument is that, well, the baby is alive, but it's inside the woman's body, but then the woman, you know, you have to come to term. What, are you going to make her have the baby and then get rid of it? You know, you can't do that, so that's actually a violation of due process. And the woman should have the right to terminate the pregnancy so that she doesn't have to carry a baby all the way to term that she doesn't want to. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just yelling about this. This is funny because, like, you know, a lot of the arguments are like, men provide 50% of the DNA and men are 50% of the babies that are killed. Yeah, but... But women are the ones who carry them. I, I, it's just dumb. It's just a dumb. It's a ridiculous thing. We have an overpopulation problem. You know, we uh, just kill it. Kill the baby. It's fine. Kill the baby. We kill babies everywhere. We kill them while they're alive. Yeah. I, why do we care that it's a fetus? Is it the potential? Oh, the potential. <laughs> <laughs> the potential it's something we've all squandered why does that why are we holding that as some kind of value it's just weird i think what it is is maybe the last gasps of a society a civilization that is holding on to some ideal you know some ideals we're like we're not all bad right there's got to be something left to hold on to this life is sacred that's what we're holding on to like, really, life is sacred? Is the, the no health care having country? The nuking country? The country that can nuke the entire world a uh, hundred times over? That, that's the one that the, says life life is sacred? The one that's, that's polluting? We're polluting the entire planet, right? Fracking? 
<laughs> that's when life is sacred. Yeah. yeah. There's a oil still gushing into the Gulf uh, of Mexico. Just an unending gusher, right? There's unending gushers all over America from all the fucking, you know, extraction we've been trying to do. Trying to suck out that fucking liquid dinosaur, right? Trying to get the, get out those fossil fuels, baby. Right? Life is sacred. Yeah, let's fucking just burn carbon into the atmosphere and then we'll all die. Let's all die together. Life is sacred. Life is sacred. Yes. Let's just start killing each other. Killing each other. Want to, let's have 100 guns per person in the country. But life is sacred. All right, that is my rant and rave. Uh, And if you'd like to see more, come see me at the Comedy Store. (laughs) Friday, uh, May 17th. Um, All right, I I, I mean, I suppose I'm preaching to the choir. Am I? No, this is divisive. Listen, a lot of people are like, no, abortion is wrong. And I got you. I got you, man. Abortion is wrong. Why? Because murder is wrong. I got you. I understand. I am in agreement. It's wrong. However, can you take that next step with me that despite us as a society agreeing that murder, whether it's a baby, a fetus, or human being, alive, uh, an adult human being, we can agree that that's wrong. Yet we do it. Yet we're doing it. We do it for some reason. War, you know, the war thing is a good justification, but we have all kinds of justifications, right, for, for not letting babies live, <laughs> for letting babies have shitty lives. For making people, forcing people to be poor and have lives that they don't want to have. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel, I believe, just believe in freedom, man. Freedom. And let, fucking, let them, let them be free. Let them be free. The ladies, let the ladies be free. Okay, that's what I say. Let them be free. Because, you know, what, what? Who is the fucking government to come in? That's <sighs> all right. It's weird. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. I'm not. Am I gonna solve this issue now? No, I'm not gonna solve it. I just like pointing out the interesting contradiction that we have. Right? You got all the fucking shootings in the schools. Well, we don't have a, you know, but we don't fucking do anything about trying to protect them. Once they're alive, we're trying to protect them. We're yeah, okay. It's only Alabama for now, but Alabama. Did you know Alabama's fiftieth fiftieth in education? Isn't that crazy? Fiftieth in education, right? But just steps right up to the bat to just make abortion illegal. Like it, it, that's very American, though, right? Such confidence, um, and such retardation. You know what I'm saying? Like the the <laughs> the fucking juxtaposition of like. The utter confidence and utter backwardness, right? Just fucking, why, ah. Uh, but here we are. All right, politics. You're like, why are you being so political? Is it political, though? Is it? Because, I mean, I guess we could just be like, who cares? Who cares about the rights of people? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it's actually just indicative of society. I don't really care about politics anymore. I just I just don't care. I just don't care about left, right, blue, red, Democrat, Republican. It's fucking dumb, right? To me, U.S. politics feels like just a fat, rich dude making his hand puppets fight each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, just fucking... Rah, 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 and then people are like, ah, yeah, which one's going to win, right? That whole Bill Hicks bit about, like, you know, I prefer the puppet on the left. I prefer the puppet on the right. You know, like, it, it's just, it's, it, you're like, oh, you're so cynical, right? People say, you're so cynical. I don't know, man. I don't think I'm being cynical. I feel like you should uh, listen. Here's the thing. Um, like, I was um, a Clinton guy, a Clinton kid. Grew up in the time of Clinton. Right, and I, I was like, I guess he's a good president. Everybody's saying he's a good president. Then they're trying to get him on the sex thing, fucking Monica Lewinsky, right, in the Oval Office, and they're trying to get him for that. And then, meanwhile, I do remember I was in college, uh, toward the end of his term, the second term, he's uh, starting to bomb Sudan. He starts to bomb places, starting to fucking do war shit. He's fucking in Bosnia, and it's always coinciding with the Monica Lewinsky shit. 
And I'm like, it can't be, right? He would, the president wouldn't be brazenly just, like, committing military acts as a way of distracting people from this other thing that's going on where they're trying to impeach him, would they? But um, I think I think he was, man. I, think, I mean, I think that's what yeah, people agree that, I mean, that's what they criticized him for, <laughs> for that the timing was poor. Like, uh, suddenly when they're announcing some break in the Lewinsky thing, He's like, ah, we just found out about these guys called Al Qaeda. <laughs> Al Qaeda, Al Qaeda, conveniently coming to get us, right? And 9/11, what happened there? So then, you know, my uh, post college years is the Bush years, right? The Bush years, and going into the Bush years, 9/11 being crazy, it was pretty obvious that, like, dude, I don't know why we're doing the Iraq thing. That seems wrong. Like we. There's that, you know, like I didn't really buy the WMDs thing. I just didn't buy it. I didn't buy it. And the, but the media did. And everybody was like, WMDs, and we're going in. And we're going. And I was like, all right, I guess we'll find out. You know, we'll find out. People are saying, you know, what do people always say? The Iraq war was a mistake, but Saddam, he was a dictator, right? Saddam, he's a brutal dictator. And we've got to get in there and just, we got to get in there and get rid of the brutal dictator. And then what happens? We fucking, we went in, we got rid of him, and then we got ISIS. Or, you know, we just fucking we created a shitstorm. Uh, now you just have brutal warlords everywhere. You have many brutal guys, not just one brutal guy. And, uh, and it's just the hypocrisy of America, right, to not understand that that is the nature of power in the world, right? Whoever is the most brutal is the one holding it down making sure nobody else is going to be brutal. You monopolize violence. And that's what America does. Because we got nukes, man. We got nukes. We nuke the shit out of Japan. And then we're like, nobody ever do this. Don't anybody ever do what we just did. It's very bad. And if you even try, we will do it to you. Okay? We will <laughs> nuke the shit out of you if you even try to make nukes. Yeah, and then it's a, it's a weird thing. It's just a weird thing. Just imagine if uh, you lived in a neighborhood, and somebody had a gun, right? And only one person had a gun. And that one person went to another house and just shot two people. Plow, plow. And then was like, holy shit, this thing is dangerous. Nobody is allowed to have a gun anymore, okay? All right, well, maybe you guys. All right, well, a couple of people can have a gun. Just, we'll just, but these, that's it. These are the only guys that can have guns, right? And then the rest of the people in the neighborhood are like, dude, why, I want a gun. Well, fuck that, man. Why do they get guns? Like, I want a fucking, right? Like North Korea, right? <laughs> uh, Israel, right? South Africa, Libya. Like, all the countries are like, dude, we need, we need fucking guns, dude. We need guns, right? Like Libya, right? Libya was convinced to denuclearize. You know, that was an uh, American thing. We were like, hey, guys, don't have those nuclear weapons, right? Don't have them. And then we went in. We went in, we deposed Gaddafi, the brutal dictator. Now there's open air slave markets in Libya and uh, ISIS or Al Qaeda. Like, it's just a uh, anarchy shit show. And it's not like we instilled an infrastructure or anything. We just bounced. We were like, All right, chaos. Goodbye. And that's better, right? A lot of dead babies there. Ha 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 ha. Because they were trying to get nukes. And we're like, dude, don't get nukes. We'll fucking, we'll fucking help you out. Help you out, Libya. And we did for a bit until we didn't. And then we're like, we're going in, right? Meanwhile, North Korea is like, fuck that. We are getting nukes. We're getting nukes. First of all, we are right next to Japan. We saw what you did to Japan. We were literally right here. We were like 100 miles away from Japan. We could see it. We could see both of them. We were like, dude, they dropped two bombs on those motherfuckers? Because, <laughs> you know, Koreans are not... Gonna be too, uh, you know, shy about the the joy over Japanese defeat. You know what I'm saying? Like Koreans, they were colonized by the Japanese, so they were happy that the Japanese were defeated. You know, but I'm sure it was still like, whoa, they just fucking dropped a fucking nuke. They're, and holy shit, they just dropped two. God damn, we gotta get in on this, guys. We that. <laughs> Right? You, you don't think that you don't think that's a rational move to be like, yo, we gotta get in on this. We gotta fucking get in on it, right? Right? So and guess what? Guess who hasn't been invaded? Right? North Korea. 
Okay, guess despite the fact WMDs, you're like WMDs in Iraq. We gotta get in there. You know who's got WMDs? North Korea. They got nuclear weapons, and that's why we're not invading them because it's a deterrent. Because it's the only deterrent. That's actually what we're telling the world, even though we're not openly declaring it. That, but through our actions, that's what it's like. Yeah, Kim Jong Un. Uh, he's not. He's a brutal dictator. We gotta get in there. Get uh, yeah. Why aren't we doing anything? Because he's got nukes. Right, and we don't. Uh, we're not trying to. We're preferably trying to attack countries without nukes. So we're actively discouraging them from having them. That's why we asked Iran to not have nukes, because we'd like to attack them one day. Because we're obviously gearing up for it. That's what it sounds like, right? So they're probably like, ah, oh, we sh- should not have given up the nukes, <laughs> right? Like, why? Why did we do that? That was so dumb. That's like the you know, why? Why did we do that? God damn it. Fucking fooled us with the cool president. With Obama. Obama, you slick motherfucker. You got in there. And you're like, hey, come on. Let's it. Fire it up. Let's get this peace deal. Let's it. Let's get rid of the nuke. Get rid of the nukes. I hate fucking Obama impressions. Fire it up. Okay. <laughs> like, why? Obama, he drank the water in Flint. He drank the water in Flint and was like, ah, it's clean water. Yeah, right. Like, you know, right? Like, uh,. We tortured some folks. That's what he said. That's what he said about our torture program, the illegal torture program that we had going on for like 10 years, just torturing motherfuckers <laughs> without any real intel. It's all bullshit. All that Zero Dark Thirty shit is bullshit. We didn't get any good intel from torture. We just tortured the fuck out of people at Abu Ghraib. Tortured some folks, right? And that's how he convinced Iran. Iran was convinced. Ah, smooth black president. He's got our best interests in mind. We think we 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 believe him. You know, we <laughs> they believed him, dude. His middle name's Hussein. Fucking ah, he seems okay. He wouldn't do us wrong. Would he? They they wouldn't do us dirty. They wouldn't do us dirty, right? It's like America's crazy though because they didn't realize we got this whole fucking two party system. We go forwards, we go backwards, we swing side to side. You know what I'm saying? We were like black president, and then we we're like ah, never mind. Ah. <laughs> right and that is america right ain't that america that's you and me guys that's you and me that's us that's us see that's a, a lot of people are like that's not us that's them that's the deplorables or that's what or whatever other stupid democratic buzzword they put in your head right or whatever stupid republican buzzword they fucking put it all those buzzwords they're feeding your head with to create this stupid conflict to keep us really apart apart i want to stop us from fucking okay you and me fucking right now could be happening but this bipartisanship is ruining it. <laughs> all right we don't have to be fucking per se i'm sorry i have family listening and i don't I'm not i'm a, it's a hypothetical hypothetical do you guys can i do you have to translate that into korean for you guys to get it all right um I'm going to let's wind this down. I'm winding it down, guys. Thank you so much for listening. I know I went in on abortion, then rambled on about nuclear weapons uh, and <laughs> and really just the hypocrisy of everything. Obama, Iranian nuclear deal. We're going to are we going to war? Are we going to war, guys? Are we stopping abortion and going to war? Life is sacred. Is that? <laughs> And the helicopters are here. And there's, ah, they found me. They found me, guys. I don't know. It's a good thing I don't uh, live stream this. But, guys, thank you so much for listening. Um, I appreciate everything um, you guys are doing, including coming out to support me at my comedy shows. You know, thank you for that. Um, it really means a lot including show I have. This should be tomorrow. Um, this comes out Thursday, so Friday, May 17th, in the Bella Room at the Comedy Show, 8 p.m. I'm on Jimmy Shin's Shindig Show once again. Huh? He thought I was so nice, he booked me twice. Um, cool dude booking me on a show, my first show at the store, so that's exciting. So thank you guys for purchasing tickets. Uh, come out. I got a link in my bios, in the bios, and I'll have one in the YouTubes for tickets. Um, and, of course, follow me 
on the Instagram, on the Twitter, subscribe to me on the YouTube or the iTunes or the Stitcher. I'm out there. Just Google me, Rojan Kim. Thank you so much for listening, guys. And I will be back next week. Thank you so much for listening.